In a previous video, we did sketching cubic equations where we laid out an in-depth method for sketching general polynomials. We're going to develop on this method now and extend it to sketching quartic equations. So let's start. So it's asking us to sketch y equals x plus 3, x minus 2, x minus 1, and x minus 4. So the first step is to find out what the x-intercepts are, or the roots as they're sometimes known. And they happen when y equals 0, so that equals 0. Well, when y equals 0, i.e. that equals 0, x can equal minus 3, that turns that bracket to 0, 2, 1, or 4. Next step, find the y-intercepts. So the y-intercepts happen when x equals 0, which means that y equals, well, when x equals 0, y equals 0 plus 3 times 0 minus 2 times 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 4 equals, let's pop that in the calculator, 3 times minus 2 times minus 1 times minus 4 equals minus 24. Then we've got to decide whether it's a positive quartic or a negative quartic. So we'll do that by timesing the x terms out. x times x times x times x is positive x to the 4, which means that the quartic equation is going to start top left and end in top right with a number of stationary points to be determined. OK, so let's draw the axes and get this sketched. Notice I'm using a ruler and a pencil. That means the sketch is presentable and if there's anything wrong with it I get to rub it out and have another go. So never do a sketch in pen. Okay, so the x-intercepts are at minus 3. Let's put that there. There's one at 1. Roughly there. 2. And 4. Okay. So sketching it, start at the top left because it's a positive quartic, so it starts in the same place that a quadratic would. Okay, through there, back up again through the next root, back down again through the next root, back up again through the next root. Now one thing I don't like about this graph, there's two features of it actually that I don't like here. This sort of suggests that the graph's going to curve round a bit. It's curving to the left a bit. We don't want that. So I'm going to rub that out and improve on it. Should always be getting steeper. That's better. And here, a little wobble there. Let's get rid of that. Make sure the graph's always getting steeper, and that's better. So the intercepts are at, we said, minus 3, 0. There's one at 1, 0. There's another one at 2. 0 and another one at 4 0 and the y-intercept there it is is at 0 minus 24 now notice the scale isn't very good but that doesn't matter as long as everything is roughly in the right position right so that's that first one part one we've drawn that let's have a go at the next one so the next one is y equals, and let's write it out in full rather than write square brackets, y equals x plus 3 squared, so x plus 3, x plus 3, x minus 4, x minus 2. Okay, so let's find the x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts, when x equals minus 3, and we've got minus 3 again, a double root, 4 and 2. The y-intercepts, before we try and draw it, let's find the y-intercepts. So the y-intercepts happen when x equals 0, which means that y equals 3 times 3 times minus 4 times minus 2. Speed things up, putting the kite at 3 times 3 times minus 4 times minus 2, which is 72 and decide whether it's a positive or negative quartic 
x times x times x times x is positive x to the 4 so it's got to start top left and end top right like that so drawing the axes again pencil so we can rub it out if there's anything wrong with it and we can see that the roots are at minus 3 and minus 3 again double root at minus 3 and then there's a root of 2 and then one at four. So start to sketch it. Start at the top left because it's a positive quartic. But when it hits the double root, it hits it, then turns back on itself again. Then back round. Single root, back round on itself single root. So the roots here are at minus 3, 0, then there's one at 2, 0, then there's one at 4, 0, and the y-intercept, you can see that the y-intercept is at 0, 72. So that's that one drawn. The double root, just like in cubics, just touches the axis, then turns back on itself. Right, the next one, we've got y equals 7 minus x cubed, so write out in full 7 minus x, 7 minus x, 7 minus x, and x plus 1. So we can see that the roots here are at x equals 7, 3 times, and a root of minus 1. The y-intercept is when x equals 0. So when x equals 0, y equals 7 takes 0, times 7 takes 0, times 7 takes 0, times 0 plus 1, equals 343. And then, timesing all the x's together to decide whether it's a positive or negative quartic, minus x times minus x times minus x times x is minus x to the 4. So actually this one is going to be an upside down quartic, a negative quartic, start at the bottom left and ending at the bottom right. So drawing it, drawing the axes again, must do it in pencil in case there's anything wrong with a graph so you've got a chance to correct it okay so there's my axes and the roots there's three roots at seven and one root at minus one so drawing this and this is where the interesting thing happens so double root, so approaching as if we were drawing a double root, rub that out, make it a bit of a smoother curve, make it look as though it's going to be a double root, and a double root would turn back on itself and go up, but this is a triple root, instead of turning back on itself and going straight up, it's going to turn back on itself again, and go down, like that. So, we've got minus one, zero, 7, 0, and the feature of this that gets the marks, it must be flat as it crosses the axis, and that's what will get a mark. And then the intercept here, which is 3, 4, 3, x coordinate 0. So that's what a triple root looks like on a quartic. Finally, part 4. Let's have a look at part 4. So y equals 4 minus x, x minus 2, x minus 5, and x minus 2 again. So there's actually a hidden double root there because the x intercepts 
are 4, 2, 5, and 2 again. The y-intercept is when x equals 0, so y equals 4 minus 0 times 0 minus 2 times 0 minus 5 times 0 minus 2. I'll type that in the calculator. We've got 4 times 4 times minus 2 times minus 5 times minus 2, which gives minus 80. So y equals minus 80. And then multiplying out all the x terms, minus x times x times x times x gives a minus x to the power of 4 a negative quartic, which means it's going to look something like that. So, drawing the axes again, pencil and a ruler to make it presentable. Okay, so the intercepts are at x equals 4. Then there's another one at x equals 5. Then one at 2. And another one at 2. So coming down from this end here, starting at the bottom left. First the intercept at 2, which is the double root. Goes up to it, then turns back on itself. Then to get the other two roots, passes through those points like that and getting steeper as it goes down the page. There we go. So, the y-intercept is minus 80, so 0, minus 80. Then the x-intercept, the roots, we've got one at 2, 0. We've got one at 4, 0. And one at 5, 0. And that's how to sketch quartics. For more resources like this, including tutorial videos and categorised exam questions, Subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.